Major U.S. banks are pumping billions of dollars into First Republic Bank to try to keep it from collapsing. But President Biden is urging Congress to do more to hold senior bank executives accountable. ABC's Rena Roy explains. As the banking panic rapidly deepens, President Biden is now stepping in with an urgent call, saying Congress must act to impose tougher penalties for senior bank executives whose mismanagement contributed to their institutions failing. This comes as some of America's largest lenders raced to save First Republic Bank, now on the verge of collapse. Major financial institutions, including J.P. Morgan, Citigroup, Bank of America, and Wells Fargo, banding together to pump $30 billion into First Republic to help save it. What are you doing with the people that are investing with you? Because you make it sound like you have everything covered, but at the same time, it feels like they're just playing with our cash. Just a week ago, Silicon Valley Bank failed. Its parent company now filing for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. The bankruptcy helps the bank's parent company find new owners for its other business lines that are not under federal control, which includes things like their investment bank and their wealth management firm. The Department of Justice and the Securities and Exchange Commission now conducting independent investigations into the failure. Sources tell ABC News the FBI's early focus is on Silicon Valley Bank's leadership and whether there's any evidence of possible insider trading. On Broadway, many productions reportedly scrambling after the closure of Signature Bank, a medium-sized New York-based bank used by as many as half of all Broadway shows. Now, thankfully, that the government has uh, come to the rescue and said that they will make these depositors whole. Some of them are saying there's a little bit of a delay in accessing that money, but they say they will be able to get it. This week, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen reassured a Senate committee that the bank systems in the U.S. are sound and resilient, saying taxpayer money is not being spent to ensure deposits in the now-failed Silicon Valley and Signature Banks. In New York, Rena Roy for Channel 6 Action News.